Be strong in body, clean in mind, lofty in ideals. James Naismith. Basketball was invented in 1891 by a college professor named James Naismith. Basketball competition for women began in March of 1892. In the earliest part of the 20th century, there were more girls attending high school in South Dakota than boys, and girls' basketball programs developed right alongside boys all across the country. Several restrictions were placed on the girls due to the belief that strenuous exercise would cause permanent physical damage. The cultural and social concept even then were that uh, females, it wasn't healthy for them, uh, there were smaller hearts, and they physically could become diseased. And so there is always this stigma that physically girls shouldn't be playing basketball. And then in the early 1900s when they started to put rules down, uh, some people still didn't want to follow the rules. Girls played with modified rules such as passing instead of dribbling and players had to stay in assigned areas. Girls playing basketball as part of the athletic activities of South Dakota schools began in the first years of the 20th century. Sioux Falls and Canton High Schools organized girls' teams during the 1905-1906 school year. A Sioux Falls team was organized in spite of the fact that attempts to organize a boys' team failed. Canton and Sioux Falls won two games apiece. During the 1906-07 season, Sioux Falls played an 11-game girls' season, winning 10 games and losing one. Their only loss was to Laverne, Minnesota, 11-8. At the end of the 1907 season, Sioux Falls defeated Aberdeen High School 14-6. The team claimed the state championship after the victory over Aberdeen. The selection of a state championship amongst sports teams began in the first years of the 20th century. Newspapers and fans corresponded to determine the top teams and special games were organized to determine the champion. In many cases, this meant a special train trip by the team's fans to attend the championship game. By 1908, girls were playing basketball all across South Dakota. Sioux Falls schools held double headers where both boy and girls games were played. Howard Wood served as both the girls and boys coach. Irene Munt, a 1908-09 Sioux Falls girls team member, would later recall. We could have defeated the boys team that year. The 1908 Canton team won seven of the eight games they played. They concluded their season with a train trip to play games in Vermilion and Yankton. The Canton School Yearbook noted that after the Yankton game, they were entertained at a private residence. They were scheduled to board a special freight train back to Canton at 1 a.m. However, the freight was late and did not leave until 8 a.m. the next morning. They returned to Canton that evening. Canton girls team of 1911-12 won all 12 games that they played. They claimed the championship of South Dakota at the end of the season. In the school annual, team captain Alice Bergstrom was asked what she lived for. Her response was basketball. Participation in girls' basketball continued to grow, and more schools began girls' teams. Mythical championship games continued to be held each season, with matchups determined by the press. In 1916, Vermillion defeated Flandreau for the mythical championship. <laughs> 